What's up guys, Pop one one here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to rip models from any LEGO game. So let's get started. First off, you're going to want to go to this website that I linked in the description. Once you're there, you want to download the Quick BMS Extractor. Okay, once that's done, you're going to open it up, you're going to see all of these, and you're going to want to save it. In my case, I've already saved it, so I'm going to go to that in a minute. Once you've downloaded that, you type in Control F, and, or you can just scroll down and you can go to Travelers, Tales, Games, the extractor right here. You download this as well. Once that is downloaded, what you're going to want to do is go to wherever you saved it, and then drag in this download that you just downloaded, and drop it into the folder. So it should look something like this, except in the download that we just saw, it has a couple more options. Once you've downloaded both the tools and the script itself, you want to go to wherever your game files are stored. In my case, we have LEGO DC Super Villains right here. We have a couple of the DLCs and the main data files themselves. Now you'll know that these are the main ones because if you look at the bottom, you will see how many gigabytes they are, and they are all very large. So in total, this makes up the entire game. Now, once you've actually located these, what you want to do is go to your extractor right here. And if it's anything below four gigabytes, I'd recommend using this one right here. Anything above, you can choose this one. Although sometimes, even if it is a little bit below four gigabytes, you need to use this one as well. Like these files right here that are nearly two gigabytes. So in our case, you want to double click these right here. This will open up. Now first you need to add in the script. So we go to our TT game script, the script that we downloaded, we open it. Next, we go to the data file that we want to open. In my case, I want to open game seven data file. Open it up. And then finally, we choose a place where we want to download it. So I've already made a folder with a couple of rips and I'm gonna choose this one. You choose the folder and then you hit save. Now notice it is currently ripping everything from that data file into the folder that you chose. Once it's finished, you can just press enter, or close the window to quit. So in my case, I'll press enter. And now if we go to our downloads, our folder where we have all the rips, and here we are. Now these are the levels once you finish ripping all the assets that you want from the game, what you want to do is look for the .gsc, .ghx, those kind of files. It will most likely be .gsc, but those are the files that actually have the models themselves. As you can tell by looking at this, there's a couple other ones like textures, shaders, etc. But this and this one will be your main focus. You can also tell by the size of them. So for example, this is almost 30. The other files are a lot smaller except for the textures. So the textures and the models themselves will be the largest. So what you need to do is go to the link that I have in the description, create a folder and download this application with this script to go along with it. Now, all you need to do is drag it in to your new folder and then drag your GSC file onto the application. Now once you drag it on, it will start taking out all of the models from the file. And then when it finishes, it will say enter or like that. So now you can tell we have our 3D object and the MTL files. We don't really need the MTL. So what I like to do is always do it by size. So now if we double click on the largest 3D object, I don't know if you guys know this game or not, but in DC Super Villains, this is the main head of Apocalypse. And this is Darkseid's head right here. Now after you've finished ripping the model itself, I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to rip the textures as well. So what we're mostly gonna be looking for is NXG underscore textures. So all you need to do is grab it and drag it into a new folder where you can place the X Ripper. Now this is another application that I'm gonna have linked in the description, but all you really need to do, once you have this in here, I'd recommend making a folder. 
You open up XRipper, you choose the file to scan. In our case, we want this .nxg underscore textures. Open it up. And the destination for the rip textures, I am going to go to the folder that we're currently in. Select OK. And just in case it is any one of these many textures, hit select all, start searching. Once it's finished, you hit OK, exit out of it, and you can go into your folder where you have all the textures for those models. So guys, that is how you actually rip and open up models for LEGO games. If you want to see more content like this, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.